Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to use Apple's self-diagnostic service today. So let's get started. In order to use Apple's self-diagnostic services, first thing is make sure you're running iOS 17.0 or later. And make sure you're not on a beta. Second thing is make sure you have an iPhone from the series, from the iPhone 12 series, 13, 14, or 15 series. And the third gen iPhone SE. Basically the same devices as Apple's self-service repair program supports. Next thing is, if you have an iPhone 10s, 10R, 11, 11 Pro, and the second gen iPhone SE, then this will not work on those devices. They're not eligible for it to work. These phones they tried it on and it just did not work. All right, so today I'm gonna to be doing this on my iPhone 13 Pro Max here today. So in order to do this, we'll have to place it into diagnostic mode by holding the volume up in power. And now to enter diagnostic mode first, we'll have to hold both volume up and down at the same time. While holding both volume buttons at the same time, plug your device in. Keep holding the volume buttons until the Apple logo comes up. Takes a couple seconds here. Once the Apple logo comes up, you can release the, the buttons here. The device is now in diagnostic mode. So now we're going to click start session. Now we're going to go and select the Wi-Fi network. And my Wi-Fi is now connected. So now, once we get to this page, we're going to go on, onto our other device and go to the diagnostic website, which we'll need to connect to the phone and run the tests. The link for this will be in the description below. All right, so now we're going to click continue, click iPhone, and now, we're going to enter our device's serial number. In order to do this, we're going to click the eye icon at the bottom here. And as you guys see, there's my serial number. Got my serial number all entered. We're going to, now we're going to click Start Session. And there we go. So now it's going to start connecting to my 13 Pro Max. Then we're going to click Agree. And there we go. And now we can choose the diagnostic test to run here. So now we can choose Mobile Resource Inspector, which will test basic functions of the phone like the cameras, brightness, and other stuff. The audio output is based, that will basically play tone through the speakers so we can tell if it's distorted or not. Display pixels, like the pixel test. It, but I have had a hard time getting out of that mode. There's like no way to tell if tests are complete or not. So it's really hard to tell. The multi-touch test, this test if display is working properly. Face ID test, the camera image quality. That one basically makes you take a couple of pictures, then we'll confirm if the camera they're working. For this one, first one, we're gonna do begin diagnostic for mobile resource inspector. Okay, so now you see it's testing my ambient light sensor now, which it just did because it got brighter. Now it's testing the barometer. Then it'll test basic other functions of my device. The Bluetooth scan test, you can see the progress on the other device. Then now it's doing the compass test. My test has finished and everything is working properly. But it's this issue because my software is not up to date. I'm on 17.1.2 on my 13 Pro Max. That's why it says that. You can see it every test is seen from like the wireless charging, the radio frequency for cellular, the Wi-Fi system, MagSafe, the LiDAR, and other stuff. That's cool. Now we can hit choose another diagnostic test. Now I'm gonna click the audio output. Alright, so now. It's telling us to take the case off our phone and then place it on a flat surface, which I've done here. Now we're going to click continue. Hit click continue. All right, so now it's asking us, did the audio play correctly through the bottom speaker? Since there's no distortion or any of that, we're going to click yes. And now it's going to play set tones through the upper speaker now. Click continue. And now, did the auto play correctly through the receiver? Unclick yes. And now it's going to do both speakers at the same time. Did the auto play correctly through the, through 
through both speakers. Click yes. Okay, so there are the results. Everything is working correctly as it should. If we click no, the needs will be different. Yeah, it's still giving the soft, out of date soft ratio, which is normal. It doesn't really matter if you're on the latest version. As long as they're on 17.0 or newer, then this will work no problem. Okay, so that is basically the self diagnostic service today. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for this video. Peace out.